Hey, welcome to Awesome Tubi, guys. My name is David, and today I'm gonna unbox the 2018 9.7 iPad. And this is the 2018 model of the 9.7, and it's not the iPad Pro, but it's the base entry one where Apple launched March of 2018 for like student. So this is compatible with the Apple Pencil. As you can see, here I got the gold version. So here's outside of the box. Um, just put, they just say iPad, Apple symbol. Very simple, just like Apple one. And so I got the 32 gigabyte, and this is the sixth generation iPad. And it comes with Wi-Fi version. So there's a Wi-Fi version and the cellular version that you put a SIM chip in there and support LTE and 4G. So let's unbox this thing. So I lost my unboxing knife. So this is my replacement. So this is my box cutter. So I'm just gonna unbox this. So yeah. So if you're new to my channel and you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you're new to my channel and haven't subscribed, please hit the subscribe button. Don't forget to hit the bell icon to get no future notification of my video. So I try and launch as many video I can when I have time, but since I have two jobs and it's hard to do YouTube and maintain two jobs at the same time and have a family, so I'll do my best. So, oh yeah, another thing is I have, well, I have three channels. So one is this tech channel. I also have a toy channel and my vlog channel. So I'll put the link on the bottom and please, you know, visit those channels for me and subscribe and hit the like button if you like the video. And for some reason it gets stuck. A few moments later. So here it is. This is the iPad 2018 so this is the iPad it looks gold but kind of look like a rose gold kind of I don't know maybe the lighting so it looks sexy to me and here's the front look just like any um, Apple iPad so here we go sweet so there you go. So this is a 9.7, 9.7 inch version. So yeah, it's, this one has a fingerprint. And yeah, so here in the back is the Apple logo. Let's turn it on. You can see the Apple logo. So in the box, it has, comes with some instruction, I guess. Wake up and this Apple sticker. And it comes with the lightning cable, the regular three feet, and it comes with the bigger charger, so a charger iPad faster. So there you go. So let's get everything out of the way so you can check out the iPad. So I'm setting up the iPad. So I don't know what language is this. Okay, press home button. So I speak English, United States, and set up manually. So, you know, first thing you do is you connect to your Wi-Fi. So I'm gonna put in the password. So it's, while it's connecting to the Wi-Fi, it may take a couple minutes. So this iPad uh, came beginning of or March 2018, and it comes with three colors, the space gray, the silver, and the gold. So there's only three colors for you to choose. But the size wise for a storage, one comes with 32 and the other ones come with 128. So, you know, you pick one. So I got the cheapest one. I got it for Black Friday and I got it for 249. So that's like about 80 bucks off of the retail price and this thing is not even a year yet so I don't want to use my finger yet let's get out of here so it can set up later don't use touch ID 
and put a passcode. So for the passcode, you can pick a different version. You can do custom alpha numeric code, custom numeric code, four digit numeric code, or don't use passcode. So I usually like to use the four digit. So after you put in the passcode, I'll ask you if you wanna app, apps and data. You can set it up, restore from Restore from iTunes backup, restore from iCloud backup, set it as a new iPad, or move data from Android. So this is kind of new to me. So you can either log in to your Apple ID, or use the Apple ID, different one, or don't use one at all. So let's say that I'm put, I don't have one. And set it up later. And don't need. So for the height of this iPad is 9.4 inches and the width is 6.6 .6 across. And the this thing, people, a lot of people say like, this thing looks like the 2017 iPad Pro. Yes, it does. But the difference is the inside and the screen. So the screen is not laminate on the inside, like the iPad Pro. So you can see like a big gap, like you see right there. You can see the gap right there, you see that? So that's the difference. It won't look as clear and clean as the iPad Pro and it's not as fast. So I'm gonna set up later. Don't share. And continue, continue, and get started. So right now, I just finished setting up my iPad. So on the top, as you can see, there's a 3.5 millimeter jack. So this thing compared to iPad Pro, uh, the front is only 1.2 megapixel, so you, you can do FaceTime and stuff. But in the back, the camera is a 8 megapixel camera. So similar to the iPhone 6 camera, which is good enough for me. So on the bottom, you can see there's a lightning cable plug and the speakers. So yeah, it looks pretty clean. And they used to have a volume rocker on this side, but I guess they switched it to the other side. So I'm used to the left side volume rocker on my iPad mini. So they switch it around. There's no mute button like the old iPads. And so this thing does come with retina display and is an LED multiple touch display with IPS technology and the, the screen make, pixel are 2048 by 1536 pixel resolution at 264 ppi this thing is fingerprint resistant you probably see less fin fingerprint than the normal old iPad and iPhones so let's test out this camera and see how it looks like. So let me put in my passcode. So let's focus on something. So here's the camera. So you can see this is Iron Man and I'm zooming in close. And I can zoom out a little bit and it looks pretty clean. Let's turn on the H. DR. See how it looks like. So let's zoom in. And let's check out the pictures. So as you can see, the picture is really nice. And let's zoom in a little bit more. I can see little pixels. And it's not as clean when you zoom in. But when you look far away, it looks pretty clean and nice. And this is HDR. And without HDR. See that? So the camera is okay. I think 8 megapixel for an iPad is pretty good. And there's no complaint. And this one comes with the A10 chip. The A10 Fusion chip with 64 bit embedded with the M10 co-processor. And the camera also comes with burst mode, tap to focus, and um, panorama. So it's almost like an iPhone 6, iPhone 6S camera. It's pretty good. Uh, I like it. 
So this one also record videos at 1080. So let's click on the video. So I'm recording the video at 1080p. So let's look at the, the video, see how it is. So you guys can see that, it's pretty clean. I like it. And yeah, I hope you like this video. I hope you think this video is informative and I hope you like this video. Give me a thumbs up if you do. And if you haven't subscribed, hit, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell icon so you can get a future notification of my new video on this channel. And don't forget to subscribe to my other channel. I'll put the link at the bottom. So this iPad, it support Wi-Fi, A, D, G, N, N, A, C, Wi-Fi. And it's dual band and it support 2.4 gigahertz and also 5 gigahertz. So here is the iPad 9.6 compared to the iPad mini. So you can see the size difference. And this is them on top of each other. The thickness is about almost the same. I think the iPad mini is a little bit bigger. But in the bottom, it's almost the same with the speaker in the bottom. And look at the size. It's so much bigger, see that? And it's from the top. And I got the silver version, so iPad mini before. So it looks cool. So I want to change something up, a little bit different. So the camera, it's a lot better on this. And this one, I think, I believe it's a 5 megapixel rear view camera. And this one is the rear camera, it's 8 megapixel. So it's a lot better, a lot of improvement. And the processor is a lot faster too. So that's the size comparison. And if you have kids at home, I recommend you get one of these. The eye guide from Spec. And because I have little children at home, uh, my daughter and my nephew, they like to throw iPads around and I like to protect my investment on my iPad. So this is the eye guide. So I recommend you get them this. If you don't want to crack or break your iPad, get one of these. And at first it's very snug. But once you get it in, it's secure. So don't worry. Just have to push it in. So yeah, this one is made for iPad Pro and iPad Air 1 and 2. And it fits this one perfect. As you can see at the bottom. And here's the side, you have full access to the volume rocker, the back camera, and the little mic. So, yeah. Looks pretty awesome. And you can talk and let your kids, you know, watch movies on here or, you know, YouTube, and they can toss it around. And this thing will be secure. So, yeah. I hope you like my channel. Please hit the like button if you like this channel and if you're new to my channel don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button and don't forget to hit the bell icon get new video notifications for my channel and I'll catch you guys in the next tech review peace out <laughs>